Welcome back to Hamilton of Crypto. There is a huge move potentially here uh, to, to either direction. I'm actually more leaning towards the upside right now. So stick around if you would like to know my trading plan here. Again, this is not signals, but this is uh, this is just me kind of documenting what I'm thinking here. A few moves ahead, the potential areas in which I would be looking for trade, maximizing on profit. And there is a lot of profit to be had here in the coming weeks. So let's find out what I'm thinking right now. So in in the last video we talked about uh, when we were around here when we got this long signal if we can make a confirmed low in this area what pattern will that make so let's just get rid of this here we'll come back to the wedge in a minute but um, if we are looking at this on the um, the, the white um, coloring of this channel we can see that yes that is confirmed now we've got a beautiful channel here and we've uh, we've got this support line confirmed as well so what does that mean in terms of measure moves let's start with the downside and then we'll start with the super exciting upside here okay so we need to be unbiased as traders we need to be um, expecting both directions and not getting too um, attached to both sides here so if this does want to come down we need a trading plan for that so let's just take a look and uh, and see what we're doing here We've got this low here. So this low would potentially be my short entry if we do want to dump down and close a daily down there, right? Uh, from that point, I'll be looking to take profit. So uh, this this entry point will be about 20,700. I'll be looking to take a lot of profit around 20K. Obviously, guys, I don't need to explain to you guys why 20K is such a prominent area. Okay, this is our rock solid support that we're kind of at right now uh, on the daily. It's also where our previous bull run all time highs were at 20K, right? So uh, yes, this will be a key area to take profit I will be taking a decent amount of profit there and you might be thinking it's such a small percentage why are you even taking the trade mate what are you doing <laughs> but you can see here 3.5 percent is actually a fantastic amount of profit uh, particularly on 1x imagine that with leverage 5x or something you're looking very very profitable uh, if this does turn out to be a good trade right so uh, if that does come into fruition that would be the first take profit so again 20,700 down to 20k the next take profit here will be uh, probably this area yeah, this area here uh, this last low as you can see uh, and that will be 19,300. We're looking for this entire measure move to really uh, hone in on the profit, take profit along the way. And once we hit this second take profit, if we do, again, uh, I want to keep this in a non-biased stance for the video. Okay, guys, that's how you should be thinking as traders. Okay, I've been doing this six years. Trust me, I know <laughs> it's quite easy to get attached to one direction. But if yeah, let's let's just carry on. Uh, towards the downside here if this does want to if this does want to go down and we do do this measure move then uh yeah we're looking at potentially seven percent there uh that take profit again nineteen thousand three hundred and then we'll be looking at this wick low here eighteen eight uh, and that would be on the the rest of that we have in this tr trade will be about nine percent fantastic stuff again that's one x imagine with leverage beautiful stuff coming through uh, and then we have uh, the bottom of this measure move which will be around seventeen eight do i think we get down there I think if we get down there, it will be a wick on the daily. I don't think we just uh, oscillate between 20 uh, and, uh, and 10K, to be honest. I, I, I really don't. After this long signal as well, I do think uh, we, we if we go down, it will be a quick thing and then come back up. But that's more of a personal opinion. Again, we're not getting too biased to one side. So uh, what we're going to say here is, yes, let's be prepared for both directions. Let's talk about the upside because this is where things get interesting so you probably saw this wedge at the start of the video let's bring that back in and you can see here we've got a point here where we've touched okay then we've got this area here and then we've touched this area again so this line is actually valid just like our, our channel measure move here and we're, we're going to get rid of that for now uh, just so you can can really hone in it's not too convoluted for you guys to see uh, that's beautiful stuff and then uh, what we're really looking for here for this beautiful trade here, this gorgeous measure move here, uh, what we're looking for first is to validate this trend line. This trend line is technically valid depending on how you look at it. I know a few traders in the space, uh, some of which own hedge funds, some of which are quant traders and, and trade solo like myself. Um, but yes, uh, they will all agree or disagree on this, whether this is valid. That's not the point. The point is, will it become more valid if it is valid already so the reason why we have this trend line drawn in already we've got this previous high that we dumped from 31k uh, and that is is going to be a prominent point we've hit that and that makes this line valid right so uh, technically this wedge should be considered valid depending on how you, you see it but uh, what we're really looking for is a high and a rejection on this only a local rejection though only a local rejection and if we get this local rejection not a complete 
just obliteration here, <laughs> right? A small rejection and then uh, breaking through that trend line. This will be a way more valid wedge. This will be a way more profitable measure move to be uh, eyeing up. And it's going to be something that you can make a lot of money on, right? Girthy money here coming through. So uh, yeah, if we do hit that bad boy over the next kind of, I would say, week or two, then what I'll be looking for is to break that towards the upside and then initiate a gorgeous long trade here. So what would be the entry point on this? Well, good question. I'm glad you asked. It depends where we hit it, right? If we hit it, um, if we go just sideways for a week and we hit it, this will still be valid as long as we make a high around the area, right? So it really depends where we hit it. But let's say, for example, we hit this around 23K, okay? So around this area, 22.6 to 23K, where this pivot is, it would make sense uh, to kind of have some uh, confluence around that area, right? So a bit of volatility around this area, making a high on the daily and then banging it towards the upside potentially here. So uh, yeah, if that does want to come into fruition, and let's say for this example, we hit it around this 23K, area, then I'll be looking for a break of that area for the beginning of a measure move. So a daily close above wherever this high is for this example, uh, 23k. Right. I uh, don't want to sound like a broken record here. So let's just uh, carry on with this. And uh, yeah, 23K, let's say we get in there. We'll be looking for the absolute um, monstrous measure move here that we can see. And that'll be from one side to the other of the most recent wave if it is continuing uh, being an upwards wave, right? So if it is something uh, where it, it, it kind of fizzles out here and we make a... a, a, a a high here uh, coming through and then we break over then this will be the measure move a smaller measure move but still a very tradable measure move nonetheless but let's just say for this example uh, it just goes up here and then we find a high and then we break over that point. What I'll be looking for here is a move potentially, and what really matters here is the percentage, right? Potentially of around eight to 10% here, really, really good trade that will be. And um, where will the take profits be? Uh, this, this, this is something that will be a little bit more concrete, right? So uh, it'll be basically any previous highs or lows that we can see here uh, in the pattern. So any of these bad boys, so 23.4, uh, 23.8, and then uh, obviously 24.4 as well, our most recent high uh, on the daily candle close. So that's cool. Um, and then from that point, this is where things get absolutely beautiful um, because it could initiate the mega trend, the big Don Don, okay? <laughs> Benjamin Cohen's for everyone, right? We can see here, uh, again, this channel, very, very important. So uh, yeah, if we do get that wave up and uh, we complete that measure move on the wedge, which I will now just get rid of so you guys can uh, kind of focus on this towards the upside, right? Then we could potentially be uh, at the edge of this trap zone. And if we get to the edge of this trap zone and we break out around 25, 26K, as we talked about on the Decentra Hype stream uh, yesterday, right? Then then what we're going to be looking for here is a measure move all the way up to around 30k and that is money okay serious serious dose okay so we can see uh yeah around 26k up to 30k let's put a percentage on that that's ridiculous money look at this thing this is uh 15 percent right now and if you like that Feel free to like the video, it helps me out a lot. We are a small channel out here, but a beautiful, thriving community. Feel free to join our, our community as well. Uh, besides that, let's talk about the more um, more short-term trades that we could potentially be having here. So we've talked about the downwards move, right? We talked about the upwards move. These are daily trades, okay? These are daily trades. But if these do start uh, coming into fruition and we do start getting momentum, then what we'll be looking for here um, is a few strategies, okay? One strategy, um, which uh, I have explained in very, very good detail uh, in the webinar, which is in the description, completely free to sign up. The, the webinar will be emailed to you and then you can uh, basically take advantage of momentum to make somewhere around 100% uh, a month on in trending markets. We are potentially just about to enter a very, very nice trendy market here. So uh, fantastic stuff. But the, the short story for that strategy is uh, going down to the one hour, playing off the moving averages when it's trending, when it's looking good, and then uh, making 1% um, like couple times on each wave. So about 2% about on each wave, fantastic stuff when that does come into fruition. Uh, and it just feels like free money when it happens. And uh, to be honest, guys, it's a strategy I give away for free, but it's a strategy that I've used to basically accumulate most of my wealth in the trading. And this is why I like to give it away for, for free for you guys, because I feel like there's not enough free value on YouTube. And I do want to kind of change that space a little bit uh, for you guys. So yeah, feel free to go watch that. There's mindset trading, risk management, and the strategy at the end for you guys. So that's cool. Uh, if you watched the stream yesterday here, guys. Uh, we were talking about this beautiful ascending triangle. We did get that move towards the upside. We did get the measure move. Uh, I didn't personally take this trade. I'm not sure how fast this thing behaved. Let's actually just go down to an hourly and see. Yeah, this would have been a very, very quick thing, I think. Uh, this, uh, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is a 15 minute pump, so maybe there wasn't really a chance to get in here. And that is absolutely fine, okay? Uh, we did say on the stream that this is a bit of a risky trade to be taking based on this trap zone, based on it potentially uh, wicking out and, and scatting around like we can see here anyway, right? This 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 is played out exactly as we talked about. So uh, yeah, this is why uh, we said, let's be patient here. Let's not rush into any trades. But if there is a trade and it looks healthy, that was the trade there. Uh, and yeah, just not one that I would personally take and not one I would say for you guys to take either. Uh, I was I was hoping for a bit more of like a gradual increase uh, and then going from that point, which is, is is plausible to be thinking about when we are in between so many moving averages anyway. But yeah, we did get that spike up towards the upside. And now, uh, yeah, now let's take a look, see if there are any other patterns here that we can be eyeing up. We're going to keep this trend line in at the bottom. Again, looking more like we're in a bit of a parabolic curve as well. And the reason why we can identify that is where we have uh, supports coming through, right? And then we, we tend to kind of make our lows a bit higher than the support. And you can see here, just using your, your vision anyway, you can see that curve beginning to, to, to come into fruition. And that's just general in trading and momentum across all life and the universe anyway, right? Uh, if, we, if we get a curve like this, it's, it's usually an exponential growth, it's called. Uh, and then, um, yeah, until we break that line, uh, then, it, yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good. And we'll basically be looking for trades all the way up until we break that line. Okay, that's what we call a breaking structure as well in trading trading. Hopefully you are getting some value from this video. If you are, feel free to subscribe to it. Uh, but I do just want to show you an example of that as well, right? So we can see here uh, with our, our most recent bull market, we, uh, we come up, right? Uh, nice parabolic line. We break structure. We come down, right? Uh, and then we do the same thing again. Then we do the same thing again. You can see this rinse and repeat uh, on that. And that's that's super important. And if we are just going to zoom this out to a weekly as well, just to kind of prove that point, where's, where's the chart? There we go. <laughs> Yeah, so we can see here uh, just another great example of that coming through, breaking structure, and then we enter our bear market, right? So this is something that's prominent and consistent relative across trading, okay? So yeah, something that you should have on the forefront of your mind, even on the lower time frames here, as you can see. Uh, but again, the market right now, if I'm going to summarize this, uh, and this is a four hour, this looks like a one minute, <laughs> it's disgusting, okay? But uh, yeah, this this is something that I would uh, I put weight on, and uh, yeah, just be careful trading here, if I'm going to summarize the market, it's very, very volatile and very choppy. So I would be trading more on a 12 hour or a daily right now, rather than uh, trying to trade when we are not really trending. Again, uh, four hour, we are in between a lot of moving averages. Therefore, we could bounce around very, very easily. It's a bit more of a random walk in this area. However, again, if we can get above that 23k zone, as we were just talking about, right, and this actually lines up with us making a high where we wanted on that wedge that we were just talking about as well, uh, coming towards the downside here right so um yeah this 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 could potentially be us uh predicting the future here but yeah getting above all the point here what i'm saying is getting above all these moving averages and trending above them staying about and you'll hear this on crown's uh channel as well because he's a very prominent good trader one of the few on on youtube that are actually good at trading and not just kind of bsing you guys <laughs> right so uh, yeah a general rule here in most markets if we are above all major moving averages on a four hour and uh, we're bouncing off them consistently right the smaller ones then yes it's 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 consistent of a, a trending market um so you can see here we came down we're below all major moving averages as you can see and the trend is a lot more prominent and easy to predict okay and again we're above them all here a bit more prominent easy to predict they're a lot less volatile than say here when we are trying to kind of like testing them and 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 going all over the place here. So uh, yeah, this is something that you should be having on the forefront of your mind all the time as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'm trying to, I'm basically trying to give you guys a bit more value and lessons here with these videos, uh, as well as uh, the uh, my predictions and plans as well. So hopefully that's valuable to you guys. Let me a comment, uh, let me a comment, leave me a comment, let me know how you feel here uh, about this market and whether you think Bitcoin is going up or down here. A lot of people think we are just going to lose 20k very, very soon. Plausible, uh, understandable, but uh, again, hash ribbons is rarely wrong. So I'm hoping uh, and I'm more leaning towards the bullish side despite this dump, right? Uh, and we may even come down first and do this, right? So just be careful with that. But again, looking to make money to both sides. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping we do head up from this point. Uh, hopefully we found our lows and hopefully we can get some constructive price action towards the sky uh, in which we eventually hit like 55K and then we rinse and repeat everything again, uh, doing whatever, right? Doing whatever here. And um, yeah, you can see here in the past, 14k run if we'd have just taken shorts off of this bull market barrier every time ridiculous money forever it's just ridiculous look at this thing it's, it's just complete free money 
free money for everyone. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me for this video. Hopefully you are having a great day, a great week and trading safe. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye from Hamilton of Crypto. I know you guys have been requesting that in the comments, so I thought I'd throw that in there. Goodbye from Bitcoin Beats. <laughs> Peace.